So let's uh let's get started. Okay, we just kind of paint a little corner. So we can see all different kinds of things we're going to do, some trees and uh, other things, whatever different things that people want to know how to do that I can do. I can cover a lot of ground. I'm going to do this right here. Just going to do a little square. So you know how this happens. We're doing one square here. Okay, then I'm uh, mix some uh, magic white. We put on this side so that you have like a daytime view of what. A daytime view of what the clouds would look like. So I'm doing a lot of mix. Have a little medium here to mix with the white, the titanium white, to give it that thin coat on this so that you can move colors around. It's pretty basic. People in Kentucky, welcome aboard. Everybody, welcome. I hope you got your paint, your palettes ready, canvas, so you can paint with me. So you see, uh, maybe if you're having trouble with clouds, it's, I'm hoping this will help you improve your clouds and uh, make you the more you practice, the better you get. That's just basically how it is. I'm gonna put this make sure right here. Which is just thinning out some uh, titanium white. To put it on here so you can move the colors around. This canvas is double prime, so it's really not gonna soak eat up too much of it. Okay. I'm gonna put some pressure. This is this is almost dry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some Prussian blue and some uh, cinnamon cinnamon red on this, and it's gonna be translucent, so you really won't be able to see it. It's about it's almost dry. It'll be dry in just a minute. <laughs> oh, while I'm waiting on that, I can go ahead and we'll start over here since this is not dry yet. So, I'm going to take a little bit of the Prussian blue. Not much. A lot of times when I do this, I'll use these foam brushes, which are easy. You ain't going to worry about clam. You still have one. So I'm going to get a little bit of the blue. I'm going to touch it here, here, here. It's not a lot to it. And since we already got the white down, it's going to lighten the sky up as you paint it. So. Okay, let's start right here. I always do crisscross marks when I'm looking in the sky. See the first post more. Of course, it always, always, you know, sing, sing or make sounds as I go. You do it that way, 
it will make somewhat of a, a sky anyway. We do the exit because it leaves dark some light spots. So it would leave it a basic sky anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so I can show you how easy it is to do the clouds and make them look right. Wasn't always that easy. Okay. Now, most of the time when I do my clouds, I use my fan brush. Usually a medium, not a huge one, one that you can control really easily. The main one is destroyed, like I did last time. Here we go. I have several, so let me find one that I can use. Here we go, this is one. Okay, just a regular medium fan brush. I usually wet it first. The mineral spirits, I was mineral spirits is what I use. Clean and then wet them. Okay. I'm gonna go into the white. Put a fair amount on your brush. Back and forth, back and forth. Fair amount. So you see it's covered pretty good. But I only use the corner. When I come up here. Come up here, we'll start here. But don't stay on You stay here and do this. Oh, you're going to have these big cotton balls in the sky. And it's not going to look all that great. So we're going to start. You start up up here. And you keep moving. Just moving around. Just keep moving. Keep moving. I just flip the corners because you know there's blue on here. We turn it blue if you stay in one spot. <coughs> okay, so we got that. Then you just come back. Well, I use a one-inch brush, and you come up here and you start blending softly, real soft. Don't kill all the whiteness up there. You want to try to. Move it along. If you have too much, you can kind of just this number here. What we're trying to do here is put a base base color on here. This is not where we're going to paint. Not what's going to make it jump out. And you're going to say, "Hey, man, that's all right." You're going to you can lift it lightly, barely lift it up, and come across. Okay. Can you see it? Can y'all see what I'm doing here? Okay. Hey, Melody. Glad you're here. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Put some of the blue up here because it looks no, not yet. We'll keep going here then. It's not dry yet. There, okay. We're gonna get the pan brush again. We're gonna wipe it off because it's got the blue paint on it from, from uh, blending that when you first went in there, started making clouds. So you gotta wipe the blue off with oil. You usually have to wait a while, but it's not. I didn't put it on real thick. And you usually don't want it on there real thick because we do take forever and a day to dry, but we don't want that. So, you can go to some more white. We're going to brighten this up right here. See how you already got one layer here? You come right behind it. Stay with that the same. If it's not bright enough, you just wipe some paint off. Come up here and touch it. Just touch it. 
then you can swirl it around a little bit. Keep it moving. Okay. You get the same brush that you had a second ago. You let it wiped off and it's clean. You gotta make sure it's clean. And come back up here. The bottom. Just the bottom. So if you take too much of the white, it's not gonna show up. And you'll just be blending everything away. Come up here, do the same thing. Uh, now this one, I'm gonna go ahead and blend just to show you how easy it is to move it along and have that look. Cause I'm, but I'm gonna leave this bright color in the middle. So the background color is dark and this is lighter. I'm gonna come back here. I'll blend some of this in the middle, leave some of the stuff on the outside. If I need to, I'll pick up the phone and I'll show you up close what it looks like. I think I will. To give you a good idea because it's hard to see it from there, isn't it? Can you see it okay? Okay. <laughs> now you have those colors there and to make it even more, you come back with more, even brighter colors, but you don't kill this dark. In the dark that we, that we, the, the clouds out to start with, where it's a little bit lighter, you don't want to kill that either. You're just trying to put some over it so that it shows up better. And this is a basic, easy way to do clouds. This, this nothing, it's not rocket science, it's not hard. You just got to know how to do it. That, that's and it took me a long time to learn how to do it, but at least now I know and I can show you, which is great. Like I told some people I've taught, I taught people who paint acrylic and oil. I said, you have an advantage I didn't have. And they say, what? I said, me, because I already know how to do it. It just took me a long while I'm learning. Like right here is lighter, but I'm going to come in with this and bring it down. We'll do the same thing right here. I'm going to bring this all the way over here. And then when you get down to here, I'm going to touch it like this. It's going to touch it. Okay. Do that part. Then you get this, the brush. Make sure it's clean and dry. You come back and you start right here. Just, just a lot, real, very lightly. But you keep the top bright. You don't take the top. The same thing here, you, you touch it. You come across, you just touch it. Really lightly. Same thing right here. You blend. Just blend it around. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome in. But like I say, it's it, this is easy, easy stuff. But like I say, unless you know how, it's not easy. <laughs> Yeah, you have to learn. But those, you see, those look pretty good right there. Those are how you do white clouds on blue background. It doesn't, it's pretty quickly, pretty easy. I think anybody can do that. So now I'm going to get some uh, Prussian blue and uh, cinnamon red. And we're going to cover this up. 
You can do it any way you want. Sometimes, like there's a painting I did where the blue is on the outside and the cinnamon's in the inside. But you can do it any way you want to do it. It doesn't have to be, you know, inside and outside. You can blend it all together. And that's why I came up with the, the one that I call Cotton Candy. It's Cotton Candy Sky because I blended them all together. <clears throat> We're going to put some uh, color up there because it's translucent. It's hard to see unless you're really looking directly at it. So I'm getting a one inch brush. Start with the blue. I'm gonna come up here. We'll come on the outside this time. We'll do like we did on that one paint we did with the blue on all the outside and the reds on the end. I'm going to wipe that off with my rag. I don't know what kind of rags y'all use, but I use terry cloth because it seems to be able to pull the paint up easier. Easier to work with. In my opinion. It's just like what you want to use. Okay, and I'm going to come back with a cinnamon color. Go ahead and pull it off into the blue. Around, just keep going. Put it on. Like just rub it. Rub it hard. Don't be afraid to push it in there. That's rub it. Yeah, push it into the cans. Or it won't take. Okay. Now, any questions? If anybody has any questions, don't be afraid to throw them out there. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Now that brush wiped off and clean, just my hands aren't going to be very clean by the time I get done today. They never are. Anybody that paints, especially in oil, knows. You can't hardly keep it off of All right. Now. As y'all can see, it just looks like a black canvas, even though you saw me put the colors. Okay, no questions yet. Good. All right, so you, if you look at it now, it just looks black. Correct? That's all you see. It just looks like a black spot. This is kind of a good thing to do if you have... If you have friends around or, or you're at a party or you're painting for somebody or doing an exhibition, you can paint this kind of thing, put them colors in there and you can't see them. So that when you come back with a white, it looks like you're performing magic. As soon as you put your brush up here and start turning. The colors start popping. Then you're going to come back like you did with the other one with a one inch brush. You're going to try to buff it out right here. And that's when you're really going to see the colors jump. So don't keep rubbing on the come jump around and leave some spots. You got to leave some dark spots. You can come down here where the red is. Make sure you keep your brush, your brush wiped off because you don't want it all blue. You get you want the red to pop. It always pops. Colors always pop better on, on black for some reason. I don't know. I'm not putting enough red on there because that's not popping. That red. Okay. I don't know, you know if you see those colors from the pump. Can you see them? Can you see the clouds and the, the strips right here? 
because I can't tell because the lights blinded me, so I can't tell. <laughs> what are y'all saying? I can just go by what I'm looking at. So I'm gonna wipe it off, white again, and put some more on. Come up here. Don't take all the dark, dark out. Same way, keep it moving. I usually like to have one corner. I'm going to touch it right here because I got so much paint. I'm just touching it right here. Okay. You do the same thing. It's just, I mean, it's basically the same thing every time. You just come back. Just from blending. And don't take all the white out. Put your brush around. Keep it going. Same thing here. You want to try to make these colors come together like they're both going this way in the clouds. Yeah, so much paint, you just keep coming down. Come over here and bring it down further. Leave some dark, leave some dark areas. I'm gonna touch that right now. Just a little bit. This is when you want to get some white, like the moon thing, and put a moon right in here. Of course, you, you know, you want to make it a little more round than I do, but... Okay. Then you put a moon up there. Okay, you can see it? Good. And then if you want to, a lot of times, people want to put part of the clouds over the moon and you just get the 10 inch brush, grab the paint that's already on there, but don't kill the moon, just lightly bring your clouds around it like that. You come up here where this was already dark and bring some of it down. Keep bringing it down. Thank you very much. And then if you want it, uh, the moon to be on pinky side, you already have the moon there. You already have the clouds. Just get you a little bit. Of the, I usually get just a little bit of the cinnamon color. And I'll come up here. And I'll just put it around. That's how it usually is. You start out life finger painting, and when you get old, you're back in finger painting again. Then you got the, I'm going to take a fan brush. No, I'm going to get a, buff, a blending brush and see if I can lightly touch that red. Because with oil paint, it is so wet. It is so easy to screw up. And I'll show you on this over here. If you want even more clouds, you just put another brighter color over, bring it down like 
that far. That far. And then put another cloud right there. And that before you, you just keep going that way, but you gotta leave the open areas or it's not gonna look that good. So I'm getting this blending brush. Here we go. Okay. You're gonna come up there really lightly. I'm barely touch it. Blend it right into the blue. Bring it back and down. And don't keep it in one spot. Keep it moving. Keep it moving all the way down. When you can do this, it's going to make a big difference in what people think when they see all the different colors. This is a, if you get it, like you can get a thin, I'll show you. You can get a small brush with some of the red and put a line around the moon, which gives it the look of a blood moon. A lot of people, especially ladies, love the blood moon or something. I don't know why. I'm just an artist. What do I like? Good. Let me dig up a small brush. It's pointed. And spread out everywhere. This one probably work. Okay, I'm going to go into some the cinnamon color. If it gets too thick on it, all you gotta do is put a little thinner down here. I got some turpentine thinner. I'll put a little bit of it down here. Not much, just a drop or two. That way you can thin it and roll your brush, which keeps it from clogging up and not be able to use it, you bring it to a point where it won't be all sticking out everywhere. And then I'll come up here and come around the edge. It really highlights the moon when you're coming around it. Help with it if I do it a round moon instead of a cave, but you know, I'm never claiming to be perfect. Won't it be perfect? There is, I mean, I do have these things, but you know, we're just kind of instructed here. Wipe the brush off because all the paint is up there, get some more red. Come back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just kiss the edge of the moon. Okay. <coughs> now I'm going to take. The blending brush, I'm going to blend that red back. We're going to keep some of the red around the moon. I'm going to keep my brushes up where I can find them. It'll be a business. Like I said, we'll be a business. All right, let's see. Here we go. Okay, let's go up here. Barely. Touch 
you want it barely touching. Only barely. If you can't get in the mood, then you push a little bit harder. Can, can y'all see that? Okay. Now we're going to do a different sky. Everybody understands that part so far? All right, we're going to do a yellow, yellow, uh, yellowish sky, <laughs> which would be mostly black. And uh, I'm using Indian yellow or uh, yellow or yellow arche. Either one, they're based pretty close to the same color on most of The yellow arch is a little more yellowy. Then the Indian yellow is a little redder. And we're going to start down here on this white. If you're, if you're here for a while, Melody, take a screenshot of these so I'll have it for later, if you would. Hey Haley. We're in the middle of practicing clouds, different kinds. Right now we're fixing to put on some yellow paint. Then we're gonna have a yellow sky. We're gonna start it back here. I'll put some color down. Like I said, try to do the exits that way. It kind of looks like a stat before you even start, really. Like we did up here. And just come back. If you, if you come in, if you come to the middle, or pull back this way, on both sides. Now if you're going to do water, when you do the sky, if you're doing water down here, you're like, you can come here, pull it this way. Let me get some more paint so I can show you what I mean. And then you can put paint over here. Leave the white. And don't take the white out right there. Bring it down and leave that white spot all the way down. Just leave the white. And take it out. Deal with that. We'll deal with that later. Okay. Now we'll go back to the white, titanium white, and we're going to do basically what we did here, but it's going to look different. It's going to look totally different. Okay. Just take a little while because I can clean the brushes as I go. That way, I ain't got a huge mess when we get there. Okay, we're gonna get some titanium on. Start up here. Like I said, keep moving. Come over here to do the fourth thing. The yellow just looks totally different when you're doing it compared to the blue. I think it's just because the blue is so much stronger color. Hey, Chino. Thanks for coming by. 
All right, start up here. Just corner your brush, not the whole thing, just the corner. Just the corner. Come up here, and just touch it and pull it and blend it. Just blend it. And like I said, don't take away all the white. Leave some of them in there. Especially on the yellow and the white, really is pronounced and sticks out. It looks, looks really cool. You can see already the color is so much brighter here than it was up here. I love doing the yellow skies. <laughs> I'm going to get some more white. I'm going to wipe the brush out because we got yellow paint all over it. Because we're using oil and acrylic, you, it's easier to me because it, it dries so fast. You can just come back right away. And you won't get the yellow paint all over your brush. So, going to get some more white. Oh, another, another tip if you're doing oil painting. If you thin it with some uh, marrow spirits or whatever it is you're used to clean it with, thin it with that or medium. When you paint it, it will dry twice as fast. Now you come back up here. See where that edge is right there is coming down? I'll just come right behind it. And you just follow it. Just follow the same thing. Just keep coming down. Do the same thing right here. Make it a little bit bigger. Come up here and do the same thing. Follow the edges. Just follow it. Just keep it moving. Okay. I'm going to come back with a one inch brush again. Start. Take all the white away. I can't tell you how important it is to keep the white in there. The same thing here. Keep some of the white. Not all of it. You can move it around, change it. You just keep it coming down this way. All right, see how you got three levels of clouds in there? I'm showing everybody all the different kinds of clouds that you can do. Do you know? A lot of people have trouble with, with clouds. So I'm doing clouds and trees and whatever else anybody wants me to do. Okay. Now you can put the sun up here. Let's say right along in here. About, see where the white is? So we get along the sun right along in here. Of course, it's not really ground, but you, you get the gift. You get the, what I'm trying to do here. I got a shadow on my finger, so I really can't see it up here. And then you can pick it. Up. You gotta do it all the time. All right, when you got that sun in here, it's gonna leave. It's gonna leave a light right here. So we're gonna get this one-inch brush. And you're gonna go across. Like this. And leave some of the white. Leave some of the white. Don't have to be a lot. Some of it. I'm going to blend this out when it looks right. Okay. I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to get the blending brush and come across really lightly. That way it won't screw it up. We'll see what happens. Because this is just a... It's just, we're just playing in our paint. We are playing in our paint. Okay. Hopefully this will work. I told you I'm going to this thing. I don't think it's going to work. It's too wet. I got to find something dry. Hang on a second.
The lead is way too wet. As soon as I could, another, as soon as it touched it, just all the paint just disappeared. So we're gonna try it with this. Give me a new rag. That might help. Because the the yellow is looking really good. Okay, Gino. Love you too, girl. Do what you got to do, girlfriend. I'll be here for a little while. I'm going to do trees and other stuff too, so. I just want to do all the different kind of skies so that everybody know how how they can do it. I mean, some people have trouble, and I think a lot of their trouble is that they stay in one spot and put cotton balls in the sky. So here we go. We're going to brush it across. This is the horizon. We're going to come across. Same thing. Come across. Pull it out. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Then you're going to cover really quickly across. But leave the, the light. Leave the light in. So you're going to make sure all the light's in the middle here, Not on the outside. There we go. I need more paint right there. So we'll put some there. There we go. That's better. Like I said, come in, come in, pull it out, pull it out, yeah. Horizon's right here. So it's going to come really quickly, lightly. Release we'll the light of the sun into the water ray. You see, you see that melody? Melody, you still here? Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm in the middle of practicing different clouds and scenes, like these are clouds. This is a more yellow with the sun and the water, which it took me like just a couple minutes. And this canvas is a 18 by 24. It's a pretty decent size, so I can have room to do all this. And uh, it, the clouds up here actually can be buffed a little bit. You can do a lot more with acrylic, but with uh, oil, you know, you're kind of, you don't have a lot of room to do all that at one time. So I'm going to come down and do this a little bit. I think it needs it. And you figure that out as you go from experience. <laughs> and it, I, I can probably try to make this sun brighter, but more than likely it's going to have to dry before I can make it brighter. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to do another sky. And then when we get done with that, I'm going to start doing trees. I'm going to move this canvas and start practicing on trees. I mean, you could put a, a, you could put a sun up here or a moon up here in this one. All this is down here. 
you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put more clouds so that you see what I'm talking about when I talk about layering. Layering. You just keep layering. And layering and highlights and detail is what it's all about. That is where it's at. Look like this yellow off. Hopefully we're getting on, on this one. We'll see. Any more white paint. Now, come right below that one. Don't get all that dark area. Come in here. All of that same, same thing. Remember, it gets wider and then it taps out. Taps out. We get your blending brush, which for me, most of the time, is a one inch brush. This is these are great brushes. If you look at them, they're, they're hair. Soft, very soft. You come up here really lightly. Do not take all the white away or defeat the purpose of putting this down to start with. You bring it on around. Turn it sideways to us. What you're doing sideways right here. Okay. You see what I'm talking about here? See the difference in where you put layers down? The more you layer it, the better it, the prettier it looks. And the more sporadic it looks, in my opinion, the prettier it is. We get some more. Like I have one paint, and all I did was clouds on the whole thing. Now, we're going to come over here. Let's start here. Turn the brush, I get too much blue on it, so turn it. Just keep it moving. Don't stay in one spot. And if you get too much blue, a lot of times I'll just tap it. I'll just tap it out. Okay. Now I'll come back with the same one inch brush. I've already cleaned it. Nothing on it. And make sure there was no gas on it because that, that would kill it. So we come up here. I'm going to leave that white spot. White. Well, I'm trying to. How about that? So that you can leave it. Turn your brush sideways. Tap it. Leave that white part there. Don't take the white away. Let me right. put my wine in there. There we go. Well, I'll show you what a lot of people do. I'm going to do it right down here in this blue. See what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring some blue down here. Hang on. So I can show you what a lot of people do. Let me get some blue. And this is blue. Here, we're going to do right here. This blue. Okay. I don't have no white mixed up with that, so I have to put some white with it. I had, remember, I had white behind this while I put the blue on. So. It's more white. I'll show you a lot of people do when they do with clouds. And then when it starts looking like cotton balls, you're like, oh man, they give up. I'm going to show you what they're doing and how to fix it. You know, like everything else, it's happy accidents like my boxes. That's pretty much true.
Everybody knows if you mix blue and yellow, you get green. And there's not any green clouds I've ever seen. But well, I guess there are some. Okay. Kind of looks like the ocean, huh? <laughs> Okay. Okay, I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out for a minute and visiting. I appreciate you. I hate to put that in there now because now that looks like the ocean. But I'm going to show you what people, a lot of people do and how to fix it. I get some more white because I used all the white paint, so give me a second. I don't tell you, this is the size of my tubes. Because I go through so much paint. If I didn't get them like that, I'd be going to the paint store every five minutes. All right. Here we go. A lot of people sit here and say, this is the sky they're wanting to do. And they'll do this. And they look at it and they go, man, that kind of sucks. Those are cotton balls in the sky. That's what I call them. But it's easy to fix that. Because you want these clouds to have movement flowing. I'll show you something else about this red here in a minute. I just thought about it. Because when you get that right there, all you got to do is take it here, come back higher. Like I showed you a minute ago, bring this down and come out with this and keep coming. Do this work in the surface. Just keep me in the surface. And then come back with a blending brush, a two inch brush. Because you remember you had a cotton ball right here at one time. So now you can come over here, you can blend this, come up halfway, not all the way, keep going. Bring it down. Takes too light, you need to bring it down soon. You can barely bring it up a little bit, left it a little. It knocks it off, makes it softer, and come across really lightly. And then you have a soft, soft well. You don't have a cotton ball in the sky anymore. But that's what a lot of people do. They sit here and they just, and then they go, well, that looks like crap. And believe me, I've done it myself many times. This up here, I would bring it forward to bring it in. Bring in more clouds. Same thing up here. I can bring this down. I can bring this down. I can bring this up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring this down. And you don't want to kill that, but I think this should come down a little bit. Real easy like that. Okay. <laughs> now, a lot of times when you put these colors in here, and this is going to be bright, whether it's the moon or the sun, it doesn't matter. But it's going to be bright, which is going to highlight the clouds. Thank you for all the likes. Appreciate all the love, everybody. So you can get a small brush. Go into some white. With the moon or sun is going to be bright white, more likely. You're going to come up here. And you're going to come around this cloud. Follow the cloud. 
and if you get like oil paint stuff, so a lot of times you got to keep getting the keep getting the, the paint to follow the clouds. It's got to be highlighted because it's so close to the sun and the moon. It won't be dark like that in, in real life. It will help bring the. You see them on sunsets when the clouds are just bright as can be because they're so close to the sun or the, the moon or whatever. Just follow the clouds. Don't don't kill them. Just follow them. Y'all y'all see what I mean? Keep coming down like this. Follow them. The one on top has a habit too. Up here. Follow it, follow it. See this the edges if possible. And I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a brush because I've got it too swirly right here. So I'm gonna take this brush, this dry. I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna burn because I don't want to take all that white away. White, turn them on. To stay where it's highlighted. Okay, you get what I'm saying. You, then usually you got to come back a couple times to get the brightness in there. You don't want to take it all out. Look, I'll get some more white to show you what I mean. I don't want to tell you that and then maybe, hey, you're like, you never show me how to do it. No, I'm going to make sure you know how. Then I'll get some more white. We'll come back up here. We'll let me pour in that cloud. Swirling around just like you were whenever you're making the clouds, you swirling the paint. You do the same thing to the top. That paint is right there. But you follow it on up. Now, I'm not going to blend that quite yet. I'm going to get a little white, see if, I, see if I can make it brighter. You never know. So here we go. We're going to put it right here. If I can make it brown, it's not as attached for me as you see. I'm going to come back with a brush. Let's see if I can uh, make it a little more rounder. But if you see what I'm talking about, the clouds have to be highlighted. Like it's the same as you, when you're doing trees and there's light force coming through. Let's see if I can use fan brush for this. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so you kind of get a general idea of what I'm talking about. But you got it, it's, it's all about light, shadows and lights. It's like when you start, like I say, you got to have dark here first, just like here. Oh, this was something else I was going to show somebody real quick, but this won't take long. All right, there. We're having trouble with a wave, making a wave. And I'm going to show you a really quick, easy way to make a wave. First of all, you're going to come across like this. I'm going to touch it. Touch it like this. And as it comes down, when I get right over here, I'm going to swirl it over. Right now, and then the tapers off as you go. And right here is going to be foam. Where it falls over. 
You can take a little bit of the blue and the white mixed together. You don't want it really bright. You're going to put it right in here for the eye of the way. Okay. Then, you come back with the same white color. And this wave is going to be coming up like this. If you want to bring in more, you can bring the wave over a little bit more. Then you can bring another water up here. Tighten it up. Okay. You can touch all this up. Say you want the water to roll in. I'm going to roll some water in. I'll show you what, how you do that. Bring some water in. You got water rolling in. It doesn't look like it's rolling in, but here's how you make it look like it's rolling in. <laughs> Let me play my brush real quick. Okay. Get a small brush. I'm going to go into some dark blue. The black will work also. Okay. That's too much. Now, when the water's rolling in, man, it's still too much. Let's see what I do here. Just, I need to thin it, I think. Okay, you're going to come right here and just follow the water. Around the edge of it. Skip a little and just follow the edge. You can do the same thing right here in this water. There. Well, you can also knock this down a little bit if you wanted to. I think that looks pretty good. But if you don't like it, you can always come back here with your brush, wipe it off. And just kind of knock, knock the edge down just a little bit where you got blended right here. Shadow on You want the shadow on water. You can look like it's rolling. Rolling into it. Bring some of the blue backwards. See, like right in here, I want to keep it kind of a little bit dark so you can see it's water. There we go. And that's a quick, it's a quick way of uh, knowing how to do the way. Doesn't take forever. But it's a lot better when you have a big camera. I'm just showing you a little spot on how quick and easy it is. And you can also bring the water on down. Try to keep the wave level if you can. You can bring it on there. Good, good. But this is the big part where it's breaking. That's what you're going to be most concerned with. And don't take away from this part here. I'll tell you something else you can do, which really makes it look really cool. Besides the lines in the water up here, I like doing it this way. Other people do it their own way. But I like doing it, getting some white. And right up here, draw some water lines. Water is coming up. Okay. 
That helps really give it some depth when we're coming up here, when it's coming up. But it's going to roll in this way. Okay. Well, I think that's a little too bright right there. We might have knocked that down a little bit. Okay. I think the fan brush is probably the best thing about making these. But you can do the same thing with the one inch brush, which I, I like using sometimes. You can come in here with it and just push it from the edge. Gives it that rough look. And then one is good. Coming down to here. Uh, you can put my water. Okay. Anyway, you get my idea on how it is to do clout, to do a wave right there. It feels quick, simple, and it's a wave. A lot of times, the, the wave's got to be higher up here because it's got to come up and fall. Fall. But usually I take mine down as it goes. It's kind of curl. Okay. Welcome, everybody that's coming in. I'm the uh, was it doing clouds? Nighttime, red and blue. This was red and blue, black like when we started. Uh, sunset view with water, the sun hitting the water here. And then uh, I had a friend of mine that wanted to know about how to do waves. Was sure, her waves weren't jamming or something. So, okay. But, mm -hmm. That's how I'm already starting to kick. Like me, I won't leave this alone. I have to keep messing with it. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do a really quick evergreen tree right here. I have one more spot. I can't think of another sky I want to put there. Yeah, there is. There's one more. Hang on. Let me think. Let me do a nighttime sky real quick. Let me get some black. Let me get some. Let's do a nighttime sky real quick. I need a night night time. Do it right here. I'm going to do it right here. This well scrunch, which is great to cover it up for you. Bring some down here. Come on, put it back together. Just rub it in really good. Has a dark color rubbed in. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put a moon up there. Then we're gonna put some white clouds. We'll take it all as black, like my book. Which is this, so I'll probably have to use some water. I ain't got no set up, but I'm getting started. Alright. You got the black right here. So now, we're going to get some white.
Come up here. Just keep moving. Same thing over here. Same thing. Bring it up, bring it down. Just keep it moving. Don't make cotton balls, so he told you. Cotton balls, not your friend. Even though it might look like it might be. Just like everything else, it might look like it's your friend, but it's not your friend. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. I know I can. Okay. We're going to get this other brush. We're going to start blending these clouds like we did up here, like we did here, like we did here. And it's all the same, but they all look so different. Like humility. Start up here. Start rubbing it. Start blending it. You want to take some of it and leave. Leave some, take some. And bring it on. Bring it on out here. Same thing right here. Leave some of the color in, but bring some out. Same thing up here. Leave some area. You want to leave that right there so it has that look on them to it. And of course, it's got to be a moon. We're going to put that right here. You already have white right here. All you got to do is put a little bit more white around it, which you can do with a fan brush. You don't have that little one. You get a fan brush. Let's brighten it up. Let's say right through here. And here, because you can't see the cloud, but it's there, but it's there. You know, follow this one. Bring it wider. Bring it around. Okay. Clean my brush. Got to get the one-inch brush again. And let's blend it uh, just a tad bit. Yeah, bring this up, but you want to leave it where you can see the different tones. And you bring it on around. Bring it on around. But leave some white. That's what makes it just jump out. Okay. And if you have a lot of room back there in the back, you could always put stars. I don't know how some people put stars. But all I use is I'll get the fan brush usually because I love my fan brush. I use it for everything. Okay. I get my fan brush. I'll thin it. I'll thin it. Right. Put a little bit down here. Okay. And I'll thin up the white paint and I'm going to put it up there for stars. I can't make it too thin because then it runs like, 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 it'll run like the week. I don't want to get it too wet. But you know, no best for it. Let's see what happens. All right. I think it's still a screen. Okay. The way I do it, I pound it. That's not it. That's up here. I don't need that way. Oh, here it is. Which y'all probably said you do this before on the other video. You bring your knife and you just tap it. 
That won't work. The ones up here I can take out. Just trying to get a little bit back over here. Do the same thing up here. This makes that look 100% better. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. I'm going to take some of this and take some of the bigger parts out and touch it. Some things look good. I just want to take some of it out. But no one's so crazy. If you tab that, like what I did right here, it makes it look like it's further back. The further back you go, the more depth your painting has, the better it's going to look. You want to bring these up. There we go. This thing is not jamming the right one. You want to lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, that won't change the appearance. We want to keep the lines here. There we go. That looks bad. I like that because it has it looks further back that way and all that. Same thing here. So it's too much here, so I'm gonna blend this out. Take a little bit of this out, not all of it. I like some of it. We want some stars to stay. We'll just bring that crown on there. We use those stars for clouds. There we go. If you want to make it look like there was water down here, I guess it's just a little white. And come down through here, touch the bottom like this. And bring it in. You want the light of the water coming like this, where the moon's at. A little bit of white, but that's not bright enough. Touch it, just touch it. Touch it lightly. There we go. There you go. In the water. All right, give me a moment. I'm gonna have a, here. I'm gonna have to put this put this over there and let it sit and dry for a minute. And I'm gonna put another canvas up here. and We can work on some trees. But I am going to take a break for a moment. Come stay, hang out. Go take you a break or whatever you want to do. And I'll be right back.
I know that when you step, when you step away from the paint, you can see things that you don't like. It's always a good idea to step away. Like right, in, right in here. Uh, I want this to tone down. This to tone down. Oh, it's better. And this needs to be brighter. The sun needs to be brighter. Let's see if I can make it brighter. Probably not. See, got so much yellow paint on it. I'll try it again. Let's see what happens. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
Let the clouds over a little bit. Okay, I'm going to turn it around this way a little bit. Anybody's got any questions? Welcome to the lab. I'm just trying to help people, show them different clouds, how, how they can do them, how you leave the dark and the light. And like this is how you leave light in the water for the moon. Same thing here. I made this light, though. It's a lot easier if the lights aren't there. It's less work you got to do. That did a wave. And here in a minute, I'm going to change it. And I'm going to show everybody how to do trees. I'm going to do palm trees and evergreens. And I'm going to show you how to do evergreens really quickly. A lot of times when you're doing evergreens, people use this small little brush like this one. This tiny thing. And they go up here and they go, they touch it, barely touch it as they go down. Which is fine. If that's what they want. I don't think it looks like as much like. I think I like it. Welcome back, Melanie. But we're fixing to show you how to do some things. Let me take this pan, this pan, go set it on my pan that I set other pans on top of to dry. Seems like every time I practice on a painting, I have somebody that wants to buy it. And I say, no, it's a practice painting. Let me set this over here. It does look a little cool, though. Let me uh, get my other canvas out. Turn it sideways this time. I'm gonna drop everything. Have something to hold it so it won't move around. Okay. So it's just gonna move on. Lock it. Okay. All right. Welcome, Chip. Hey, Haley. Glad y'all can make it. All right, now we're going to, since we already did the clouds and everything, now I'm going to start working on some trees. With the, <coughs> the foam brush I've shown you, we'll start off with some black. I can get my black on this brush. All right, on evergreen, all you do is touch it. Pull it down, it's going down, make it bigger. Good. Now I'm going to get some, some uh, sap green. And some black, mix it together, and that's going to be the basis of the evergreen tree. My more green here in a minute. Let's get the black out. Give me a second, I gotta get the green. We're gonna turn it back around so you can see what's going on. Okay. Yep. That's 
I'm always this. This is what's going for. Give me a minute. I'm going to readjust everything. Okay. Can you see that time? Thanks. This is my playlist. I got... Since I'm an old guy, I have music for like 50 years worth. So I've heard it all pretty much. Uh, let me get some uh, green. And think, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, we're going to get some green because I mixed the green and the black together. Give me that dark color, then I'll come back with white. The highlight. So let's put some green out here. So I got green, and I got midnight black, I got sap green and midnight black. And I'm gonna put some more white out for the highlight when we get done with that. Okay. We'll start off with this, and then we're going to go into palm trees, which I'm going to use some brown on that. Brown and white, which is a, a good color for the, the palm tree. Because as you pull it across, you see what I mean when I, when I get into it. I'm going to put the brown out so we'll be ready. Okay. Now you can do these trees with a fan brush or a one inch brush. I like doing it with a fan brush. You have more control. And I think it looks better. But you know, that's me. That's what I think. Anyway. We found a good brush. Good fan brush. Okay. Hey, everybody. All right, here we go. We're gonna mix some green and some black together. Load the brush up. A lot of it. So, a lot on the brush. You're gonna come up here at the top, corner of the brush. You're gonna touch it, and then start coming down. You get wider as you come down. I'll get some more paint. I don't want it too bright green. I like to keep it kind of dark. But the green will show up when you highlight it. Keep coming down. Just keep coming. Come down. It's your choice. Your painting. I'm just showing you how a quick way to do these trees. If not, you're not sitting here with a tiny brush going, it takes forever in the day. Especially if you're doing one like I did back here, and it's a whole forest. It'll take you a week to do it, but put all those in there. I'm going to bring this one down pretty good ways. Okay. Now I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put some brown on this. Brown up here. 
little bit right here. Yeah, no, it's just a little bit. Okay. Um, a quick evergreen. Now we're going to come back with some white. We're going to highlight this tree. And that's what's going to make it jump. You'll see what I mean. And then we'll highlight the, the out part of the tree, the land, the land part and all that. So I'm going to get some white. I'm going to touch it into the green just a little bit. Because we still we don't want it too bright. So we're going to tone it down a little bit. Brighten it up a little bit. We're going to come up here. Touch it. You can tell when you do this, it really brings out the highlights of the tree. Some more green. Needs a little bit more white. Okay, brush over. You need to come across. You don't have to, you don't want on both sides and just nothing but the sides. I mean, it looks like a telephone ball. We don't want telephone balls. Some more white. When I'm highlighting, I don't put just straight white on there because then it's so bright, it takes forever to knock it back down. And then you got to put grain on it, knock it back down. We're not going to do that. So here you come on down. Let's do this thing on there. We don't. So let's go up here. Okay, here we go. Here. Okay. Hope y'all can see that good. That would be a quick tree. Hey, Bella. Now you're going to highlight the tree part with some white paint. Remember, we put brown on there to start with. Hopefully, if everything goes right, it ain't going to be solid. So we're going to come down here, touch the edge. Bright up. Right Let's try that again. Come down. That's Come down here and start touching the edge of the tree. The pull it across. The tree. You're gonna do the same thing. Get some white. Come up here and touch it. Just touch it. A little bit in different spots. So you can see parts of the land coming up and down. Not too much. Just a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. I had to work this morning. I couldn't do it till four o'clock, so you didn't miss much. You missed my clouds if you weren't here then, but I will show them to you in a moment. Let me know. I'll be glad to help. I painted one, two, three, four clouds and showed people how to do a quick way on those. Okay. This is a fast way to do evergreen tree. You see, that's a big tree. So I'll link to the canvas. Little trees are easy. Like you're doing background trees, I'll show you that real quick. And then we'll do a palm tree over here. You need to put trees back in the background. Like say you have a mountain, and then you want to do background trees, you get the pan brush and the green. You just cut one up and down, leave one, and you just keep moving. Some are taller than others. Some are smaller. Turn off the other side of my hand. Keep it clean. The idea of making it smaller and longer, it gives you dead looks like some of the big in the back. And then you come up here, push, push the ground in. And if you only push them back, then you put more trees. You can do all some draws. It's cool shape. You don't have to use the phone doors. You can go up here. Tap. Same thing. You come up here with this tree over here. Make a little tall. Tap it. Start bringing it down. Another tree. Right here. So you got trees in the back back here. Right back here. It doesn't have to be real to find because it's back there. Now, then, like this one up here, you want to highlight these trees a little bit. And the more they come to you, the more you have to highlight, the more they got to look right. The more they got to look something to, like a tree that you can see. So we're going to get some of that. Get that color up here. Same thing here, it's like, yeah. The same thing, the same color. Type it now. If you want this tree, right now it's behind this tree. If you want it in front of this tree, you just gotta bring the color. I'm on it behind that tree. So I bring it down. I won't push it forward. I'll keep it back there. Yes. 
Landscapes are a lot of fun. Show you these trees are so quick, and then I, all you gotta do, I say another way, but I don't really, I'm not crazy about that way about making the stalks or the strips or whatever. As you cut them out with a knife, I'd rather use paint. Fine pine is a stupid knife that I had a minute ago. Let's see. Here's one. All right, a lot of times you just come up with this knife. You just kind of cut it. But it doesn't work a lot of times, so it doesn't look good after that. So you cut it from up here. By that one. That. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Do the same thing here. And I can come all the way down. Okay. And you can get some brown and highlight like I did earlier. If y'all want me to show that again, I will. Yes, no. Yeah, I bet. But one day, we can paint together. We can always paint together, girlfriend. That is not a problem. Yeah, I'm going to get some white. I'm going to try to test this a little bit. I like it better like this. I think it looks better if the trees look more real. That one looks okay there. And then if you want to do bushes, I should put bushes in front of these trees. And then you use the one inch brush, which is great for that. And the world's worse about painting and leaving cape on stuff. Okay. Sap green, a little bit of black. You're going to come up here. You want bushes in front? Come up to down, low, lower, higher, whatever you want. And then you just come on. Back and forth. I told you before, you get the white to highlight it with. You come back lightly. If you wanted to put grass on the front, you can do that with a fan brush and with this one. Easier with a fan brush. Let's see if I can show you real quick. So I'm get some green, get some white. Green, white. Oh, we're gonna put some grass. It'll be hard to do right here. It's gonna be really bright white for it to show up. See if I can get it light enough. So we touch it. Push it down like that. If you want it brighter, you gotta get the green and the white. Green and the white. I don't know if this is gonna be bright enough. Then you touch it. I don't think it's bright enough. 
I can always put a yellow, yellow with it. That's what we do then. Close to the ground, you tell the Hey, Cookie. 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 Hey, Cookie. How are you doing? Thanks for coming by. Anyway, this is, this is how you make faraway trees. Let me show you. This is when they're a lot closer than this year's grass. And you can change the color. You see, I've got the color lighter and then darker and then lighter and darker. That's how you get the, de the details in it. Okay. Well, that's how you make a forest and grass and all that. You can put more brown through here if you wanted to to make the, the stalks of the tree stand up more. You highlight it more right now. It's so wet because it's oil. With acrylic, you probably could do it a lot sooner than you can. Than I can. All right. Now, I'm going to get this brush. It doesn't work. I'm going to try something different. Okay, starting right here. Let's do a line. That is too thick. Let's see. I'm going to get a fan brush. Can we get some green? I'm going to get green on this one. Start up here. Same thing right here. This canvas is so dry right now. You pull the wings down. Same thing here. Pull it down. Pull the wings across. Same thing here. Pull it up. Pull the wings down. Same thing here. Pull it down. Thank 
taking this up the altar. Because I'm going to show you something else here in a minute. You can even put another lid, another thing of leaves on, on, on uh, right here. You can put another one, let's say, right there. And pull it back. We can do the other one. Okay, then you're gonna get some white because I have it in here. You can tell a little bit how to get some white mixed up. Anyway, when the white you touch it. That's not the right look. Let me get some white. Just give me a moment. <laughs> you play this pressure quick. I'm running up your screen. Oh, you can't see it. Uh oh, sorry. Okay. Can you see it now? Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to get some more white. Give me one moment. I'm gonna have a big mess of things on the left. I'm gonna tell it down the left. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of it. Touch it with the brown just a little bit. And you need to get a light color. Not a real light, but lighter. So you're gonna come up here like this. That's not working. Not working to my satisfaction anyway. We're gonna put some more white on here. That might make it jump better. I'm gonna come up here. Do what I want to do. It might be because that canvas is dry, it's so not left. That's supposed to be. Hold on. You want to try to make it straight. That's a little crooked here. I'm going to try to straighten it up a little But the main thing is to pull it. Pulled. It really gives it that, that palm tree appearance. You see what I mean? Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Yeah, the leaves are, are, you do the same thing. You get the white, you already had the green on there. And you just touch it and just pull it, just barely. You just barely pull it, touch it, and you just barely pull it. You see, I have, you know, it's got a pretty light to get the effect that you're looking for. Same thing here, touch it and pull it just a little bit. Same thing right here, you get the white, you touch it and you pull it. So it's got to have that rough look, you can't be perfectly straight. 
same thing with this one. This one up here, you can come up here, touch it, pull it. Same thing here, pull it. You see what I mean? Does that help? Hey, Rachel. Well, does that help? Do you see what I'm talking about? You got to get a lighter color to pull it. This can't be straight. It's got to be oh, kind of wild looking. Let's see if I can get this one pulled down the way I like it. It's got to be wider in the middle and narrow at the ends. Well, let's see if I can narrow this thing up. So. There we go. Well, that's better. Same thing here. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. And then bring it down. Yeah, bring the middle out and then let it. It's got to look rough or it's not going to look right. See what I'm saying? It's got to have that rough look. You got to pull it down. <laughs> With all the palm trees, they have the first thing right here is always darker. The top part. I know you said I'm in my front yard. <laughs> they get some white. Why is you make them up here? Touch it and pull it down. I think so I'm gonna stab up. Can't be like Can't be a straight looking male. It's gotta be there we go. There we go. That's gonna like it. Do the same thing right here. If you want another one, you can pull it up like this. We get you pull it up like this. Let's make it a little bit thicker in the middle. There at the ends. Light this up. It's more white on here. See if I can't get it how long it. Know what I mean? But that's how you then the tree itself can be darker. You want to blend up in here? If I can give it the way I want it. And the tree itself, when the white's eaten, it's not that hard. Like you said, you have it down pretty good. Kind of pull it across like this. I ain't got the right color. I ain't get enough white. I got out of it. Anyway, you gotta pull it down like you did right here. Same thing on the palm trees on this side over here. Bring the leaves down, leaves down, leaves up, down. Warm up like this if you want to. In a second, I'm gonna put some more white down here. But the leaves can be greener because I have to need to put more green paint. So anyway, let me go ahead and get some more green. So we want we want it to look right. So let's, let's do that. Thank you for the likes, Rachel. I appreciate. It. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate you coming by and support me while I'm trying to do this. Okay. 
screen. Let's make these a little greener. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, why is because this game is so pretty out here. But usually when I do this way. Stop at the point when it's laying sideways. You do it differently than you do these. This one can be the same way as that one. Okay. So, wipe this off, put some white on here so you get the zero idea. Okay. Now you just come up here and highlight it. You get what I'm saying here? I don't think you're all male, mentally, or do you just say it? Do I, is that, you know, you're doing the same thing I'm doing. Which you probably are, because you're very good. And then you come back, touch and pull. Yeah, it's just pack it up on the brush, man. 
I'm not doing what I want to do. My brain's just too wet. This looks too, it's too wet. But you get the general idea. Of course, you can't forget the most important part. Right? You know what the most important part is, right? Let's get the brush and do one. Hey, this will work. Yeah, I don't know. Oops. That's too much paint. The right amount of paint will be cooked, I guess. I can't get the right amount. It's too wet. It is. Oil is too wet. No, it's better. Gotta have the coconut. You. I have all the good stuff on there. I'm a music lover. So, are you working on anything lately? You were working on something today, weren't you? Rachel, weren't you working on something today? Okay, Melody, I hope I helped you on the palm trees. They just got to have the rough look when they come down. They just have to have that rough and wild look to them. The stumps look terrible, but you know, they have everything. It's so wet. You know, the palm trees, they don't have to have four leaves. It can be more. Actually, I like this one with more of them and wilder looking than I do that one. So. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate it. Ugh. Okay, because I got about 15 minutes before I'm out of here. It's almost dry. Brush work tomorrow. That's always fun.
Okay, I'm going to show y'all the sky I did earlier. I did one, two, three, four skies, and a quick wave picture. Y'all want to see that? If you weren't here for the clouds, I will show them. I can make a picture out of this. I'm not worried about it. It can stay the way it is right now. I can take the palm trees out and make a mountain back there in the back. Something in the front. Let me go get the clouds and show it to you. All right. Here we go. Let's turn it. Okay, let's get close and personal. All right. Here's the one with the dark with the ocean with the water. That one's one of the moon, dark with a bunch of clouds. That's how you layer your clouds on top of the other to keep them moving. It's just a quick ocean. I, I painted it in like five minutes. And this is a dark black and white. Same thing with the moon and the water running. But these clouds, the more you highlight them, you start off dark and then you highlight them, and that's how you get these great. Can you see them? See that one? That one. In the ocean with water running in, and then the dark one, the blue one up top. Oops, or to turn. Yeah, so the dark one, one of the moons, and then of course the black and white one. Yes, you can do a lot of things with the oil. Well, let me put this down. I guess I don't hold it. You can do a lot, a lot of things, but basically on the clouds, basically it's the same thing. You have to uh, put the base color on first, the dark color, and just lighten it up. Because you got to keep it moving. You keep it one spot. It's kind of you're gonna have big cotton balls, and then you got to fix that. But if you keep moving, that's like I show them. I use the corner of the fan brush, and I just keep moving it. Just keep moving it. As long as you keep moving it, you come back with a one-inch brush, and you just kind of blend it out. You know, you keep the top white. You don't take it all out because then you you know you don't have dark. You're not gonna have contrast when you put the white. In. You know what I mean? So what you brushing tomorrow? Now that you come check it, you gonna do it on live? You gonna be doing your brush work live? Okay. Tomorrow morning. What time tomorrow morning? I hope it's not early. I've worked 80 hours this week. Haven't got up, got up with late but one time. Central. 
Ooh, that means earlier, don't it? Let's see if I go. Yeah, that's earlier. If I go to Alabama, I lose an hour. Come back again. I am too, usually. I'll probably be up at 530. Even when I don't work, I, my body says get up. But I will try to be there. See what kind of work better. This, thing's, this camera seems like it's lagging. Am I lagging? Huh? They're a little dirty. Not too bad. Well, yeah, they are. Look at there. Thanks for coming by and seeing me. I appreciate everyone that came and hung out. Appreciate all the likes. And we'll do it again next Saturday. It will be early next Saturday if I don't have to work. I'm uh, thinking about doing some uh, flowers. I haven't done flowers in a long time. So I'm kind of checking that out and try to do that. I know how to do flowers, believe it or not. Some. I'm <laughs> much better with this kind of stuff. I am fixing to get out of here. It's time to get something to eat, something to drink, something to chill. But it was a pleasure. I hope everybody had fun. I always have fun. So... I will catch you next time. Bye.